Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to review the camera on the Oppo F1s. So Oppo F1s is the selfie expert as claimed by the company. It has a 16 megapixel front facing selfie camera. That's uh, uh, really good uh, for selfie experience. So in this video, we'll uh, talk about uh, the camera, the interface. Uh, we, we have taken a lot of samples uh, uh, using the front and rear camera in various light conditions. And we'll see uh, all these photos and uh, analyze how the camera performs. So uh, basically, uh, Oppo F1s has a 13 megapixel rear camera with f2.2 aperture, LED flash, and uh, there is a 16 megapixel front facing camera with f2.0 aperture. And uh, this is the selfie expert as uh, claimed by the company so uh, we'll start off the camera review with the camera interface so let's open the camera interface and uh, you could see it's a quite good interface so we have uh, uh, the rear facing camera first uh, we have time lapse option there is video recording uh, which uh, can be recorded in 720p and uh, 1080p so sadly there is no 4k recording and uh, uh, in the photo mode uh, we have lots of options here so you can see there is normal mode ultra hd mode so that uh, uh, takes photos in higher resolution there is various filters available if you select the filters you can see uh, there are lots of filters included here and filters are real time you can just have a look at those filters and uh, uh, you can just select uh, filters then there is also patterns which you can include in the camera uh, i mean the photo this basically uh, like a watermark uh, you can include the date time location etc can be included so that's a uh, quite uh, good option then there is a uh, gif animations double exposure is kind of a fun shot where you can take two images and overlap uh, both of them and get a uh, really good image uh, but then that's not really uh, the best experience it's just for fun uh, experience and there's also the the expert mode so expert mode is basically uh, the um, the manual mode where we have options to uh, change the exposure white balance uh, then iso you can change shutter speed focus and uh, uh, you can just turn on raw images etc so these are the options so that's expert mode and if you click here uh, you can also uh, we just go back to the normal mode and uh, if you click uh, this option you can see there is option to uh, different options to take photos there is normal touch mode voice mode or the palm mode and uh, there is also option uh, uh, to take uh, photos using timer then there is standard uh, rectangle or full screen photo so these are the options available in the camera and uh, looks like a quite good camera interface then there is also beauty mode for the rear facing camera you can adjust the beauty mode uh, based on the values 1 to 7 and there is also panorama mode so these are the modes available in uh, the rear facing camera and um, you have also some uh, options available including the pro mode now let's go to the front facing camera that's the uh, um, 16 megapixel camera again you can see there are lots of options here uh, included including uh, uh, the options like uh, normal touch mode voice mode and then uh, you can also save photos in flip mode or the normal mode so these are the options available here and again if you go to the um, options uh, for uh, the front facing camera you have filters and also double exposure mode included here and various filters again you can take photos uh, using uh, some patterns and uh, watermarks and also filters can be applied and there's also beauty mode uh, for the front facing camera so these are the options available in the front facing camera so now let's uh, go to the camera samples which you have taken with this device so first step let's have a look at the front facing camera that's a selfie expert what oppo claims it to be now here's the samples taken with the front facing camera and you could see uh, when you're taking selfies in bright sunlight the selfie experience is quite good the colors are pretty spot on good uh, exposure overall and uh, detailing also looks quite good for a selfie camera but at times if the background is a bit uh, uh, on the uh, exposure is on the the higher side it does tend to make the image overexposed but then the selfie experience is good the background gets overexposed at times but does not happen all the time and the selfie experience is quite good overall even if you take in indoor lighting or uh, the selfie experience does look uh, quite good and the beauty mode also works pretty well and uh, this, uh, the phone it has this beautify 4.0 interface which does some really good beauty beautify effects and uh, that's what oppo claims it to be 
so the selfie expert uh, does this work pretty well and selfies are quite good and good for social chats now the front facing camera uh, the selfie camera has also this option of a screen flash where you can where it increases the screen brightness while taking the photo and does a quite good job you can see some of the selfies we are taken in extreme low light conditions and uh, there is noise but then uh, uh, coming comparing to the other com uh, phones uh, with selfie camera this looks much better than uh, other competitive devices so overall the selfie experience is definitely good on this device uh, there is some noise uh, in the low light images but then it's an acceptable uh, level and overall the selfie experience is definitely good on this device now let's move on to the rear camera so this rear camera can take uh, some good shots uh, uh, in daylight conditions you can see the color quality looks pretty good uh, the sharpness levels are also acceptable and the overall clarity of the daylight shots taken with the rear 13 megapixel camera looks quite good but at times you can see that uh, the images are slightly on the saturated side but not of a major issue but still it does happen at times when especially when you're taking close-up shots and you can see the close-up shots which you have taken with this device overall they have come quite good and uh, the clarity and the detailing also looks good and you can you can also see that uh, the photos have decent bokeh effects in uh, the uh, close-up shots and that overall the camera does uh, pretty well uh, in uh, daylight shots uh, with the rear camera so that is the daylight shots now looking at the low light uh, or uh, the artificial light samples that's where the camera doesn't perform that well and you could clearly see a uh, noise creeping into the photos even in with artificial lighting you can see uh, the images are slightly blurry in nature and the noise levels are uh, higher when you compare with the competition and uh, when it goes to extreme low light conditions uh, the noise levels are uh, increased considerably and the photos do not have uh, some uh, great detailing and uh, pretty average or uh, not the best experience in low light so the low light uh, photography is not a strength of this device and there is an led flash which does a decent job overall with the um, uh, low light conditions now looking at the video recording it's a 1080p sample and again uh, the sample looks quite good uh, uh, decent uh, 1080p sample there's no 4k recording available on this device and uh, uh, that's kind of disappointing for a phone price almost close to 20k and the video recording as you can see is a decent uh, quality one so that was the camera review of the Oppo F1s. So overall we would say it's uh, definitely a decent camera experience in this price point especially the selfie experience is good and uh, the 16 megapixel selfie camera does perform pretty well. Now the rear facing camera is a mixed drawback because uh, you get a good camera in daylight conditions uh, above average camera in daylight conditions but the low light experience with the rear camera was quite of disappointing. So overall the selfie expert does a good good job and you can say that if you're looking for selfie experience the Oppo F1s is definitely a good buy. But if you're looking for a rear camera which works in almost all conditions then uh, we would say it's not the best choice. Uh, in daylight shots definitely it has an edge and does a pretty good job. So that was the camera review of the Oppo F1s. Hope you like this video. If you plan to buy this device, so this device is priced at 18,000 for the 3 GB RAM variant and 19,000 for the 4 GB RAM variant. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.